It's okay not to be okay. You're down and you feel ashamed. Hello you guys, how are you? So you guys know that I love making packaging for music. Whether it's a mixtape I created as a gift or a musical packaging for an album I would like to own, sometimes in CDs and sometimes in cassettes. However, with time passing by, I go deeper and deeper into new territory. And as I get requested to do so, today we're venturing into the world of vinyl. Well, vinyl has never gone away, it is rather hard to get your very own copy pressed onto vinyl. So instead of showing you how to make packaging for a fan-made version of a vinyl, while I'm still new to this, I wanted to start small. So today I'll show you how to make your very own inner sleeve for your 7-inch vinyls. I have a few 7-inch vinyls that I got out of a record store secondhand. They played beautifully, but the sleeves were either damaged, very plain, or non-existent. So I got thinking and I came up with an idea on how to make the inner sleeves. So let's get started. So last time we made the outer sleeve for the vinyl, and this time we're going to make the inner sleeve like this one. First, you will need to make a template. Start off with two 8-4 sheets of paper and glue them together by the height or the longer side. Once they are glued, you are going to place it with the shortest side facing up and with a ruler make a mark from the edge at 2 cm, 20 cm, and 22 cm. Make these markings a few more times going down so that it will be easy to join the marks later on. Now that the marks have been made, join them together all the way across the sheet. After joining the lines, you should have something like this. Flip the page with the long side facing up and make two marks from the edge at 18 centimeters and 36 centimeters. Most rulers do not get to 36 centimeters, so if this is your case, do the same thing I did. I made the mark at 30 centimeters and then I added the 6 centimeters and that helped out a lot. Once you have made the marks, you will need to join them together. Eventually, you're going to have a shape like this. You need to cut these two pieces as you won't need them. Succeeding the last step, you are left with this shape. Notice how the edges have skinny rectangles and are divided in two. You're going to cut half of them like this and the ones that we did not cut, you're going to cut the corners at an angle. This is going to give us the flaps for the inner sleeves. Later, once you have the shape that looks like this, we need to create a hole in the center that acts like the little window for the vinyl. Rotate your pattern to make sure that the square with no flaps is facing up. With your ruler, mark the middle of the square so that would be 9 cm from the edge. Repeat the same on the bottom and join the marks together with a line. Repeat the same steps but with the sides. This should give you two lines that cross each other and give you the center of the shape. Leave your shape aside for now and grab another piece of paper. Draw a circle with a radius of 4 cm. Follow the last step by cutting the circle out and proceed by folding it in fours, like so. Take your template again and the circle you just made, still fold it in quarters and place it in the center like so. Unfold the circle and once it is like this, trace the circle onto the main template. Once the circle is marked, fold the template in half again and with an exacto knife or an utility knife, cut the circle. This way you have cut the circle on both the sides at once. And you are done with your template. Once you have finished it, trace it onto some cardstock. Just remember that you need to use an acid-free paper cardstock and make sure to mark the folds. Cut it and don't forget about the holes in the middle. Make creases on the folds using a bone folder and a ruler and all that you will have to do now is assemble it you would have the option to add a plastic window where the holes are. I'm using these flimsy plastic bags that you could get at some supermarkets, but you could also use cellophane. Cut it to the side and glue it with a glue stick. Let it dry for a few minutes and then assemble your inner sleeve by adding glue sticks on the tabs and gluing them in place. And just like that, your inner sleeve is done. And 
And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. You can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye. bye.